sweat mixes so well with everything, doesn't it? Hello, my amazing YouTube family. How is everyone doing? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I did not think I was going to be able to film today because it is 100 degrees. We're having another heat wave in New York and literally you can see the sweat on my face. I have a sweat mustache and I think my makeup is just melting off and I think part of my face may be coming with it. Either way, I have boxes stacked up. I need to get out videos and uh, so I'm going to suffer through it. If I pass it on the floor, just ignore me. Just, you know, just step over me. It's okay. I have a couple of boxes here. The first one that I want to open is my Gerard Cosmetics mystery box. I am still waiting for two other mystery boxes that I ordered. I, I know. I, I can't help it. I love mystery boxes. I have only tried a couple of things from this brand. My friend Clara Barrera is an affiliate with them, so she does have a discount code, which I use to purchase this, and I'm going to list that code below. I did pay for this myself. I do not remember the details of what I paid. I think it was, I don't know. I can't remember, but I will find it and I will list it below. Jen Gerard is a lovely woman. I sometimes watch her videos or will listen to her videos while I'm driving. And I just think she is an awesome person. I do wish that she would come out with eyeshadows uh, because that is something I would definitely purchase. You're getting quite a bit of items in here. Look how beautiful the box is on the inside. So the thing that I know that I definitely like are her lip liners. They are beautiful. I don't wear lip liners very, very often. I was going to put on some dark lipstick, but I didn't know what I would be getting, and I thought I might want to try something on today. So let me put on my glasses, because you know I can't see. So it appears that I actually did purchase one other thing. I've heard so many good things about her eye concealer and base. I bought it in the color Fair, and then I bought Mystery Box number two. I also believe that there were several uh, of them available. I don't know if they are still available, so I'm really sorry for getting this up late but you know that I do try to post things on my community tab so the first thing I have here is a lip pencil it is in the color Melrose Place do I never watch that show when I was growing up well I was already in my 20s but oh this looks like a beautiful color one that is definitely my style very pretty packaging it is not a roll-up you do have to sharpen it Oh, that's a lovely color. That's beautiful. I may try it on. You know what? I'm a mess already. Let's just try it on. It is super creamy, but it's a little bit short right now, so it was a little bit hard because the rim of the plastic casing kind of touches your lips, so I would probably have to sharpen this a little bit more to get an easier application, but they are a beautiful liner. I do like the color a lot. Okay, so the next thing I have, it looks like it's a lipstick. I have not tried these lipsticks before, and this is in the color Underground. Hmm, what color is she going to be? Oh, a beautiful packaging. It's quite weighty, as a matter of fact. The gold is gorgeous. Oh, that's pretty. That's different, too. Very creamy formula. That's a cool tone, but you know what? Does it matter? No. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love the way it goes on. It just has a regular clicky close. It actually goes really well with the lip liner, believe it or not. Oh, yay. So the next thing I have here is bubble wrapped, and it says Star Powders. It says Lucy. Oh, well, maybe this is a highlighter? I don't know, but I like the name Lucy. Again, pretty packaging. I love the black and the gold. And I don't know what star powder is, but uh, we'll find out. That is gorgeous packaging, is it not? Wow. Look at this. It has a plastic covering. I still don't know what you are, but I'm thinking it's a highlighter. It has a beautiful mirror, and there is an engraving of GC. Here, of course, it's upside down because me. <laughs> Love this. Let's uh, let's swatch this beautiful silky texture. That's really, really pretty. I would try it on, but my face is too gosh darn sweaty at the moment. The next thing I have here is Color Your Smile Lip Gloss. And this is in Pink Tiara. 
that's pretty. And I think it has a mirror. It says peel off. Yes, look at that. It's got a mirror. I love this. Let's try this. It looks like a, a baby pink, but because it's a gloss, I don't think it's good. It lights up. Oh, my goodness. The details. I was going to say, I don't think it's going to be too much. Okay, it's a bit baby pink for me. But you know, I really don't mind it. Okay, I did get one of the Slay All Day Setting Sprays. Now, these do have denatured alcohol in them. I do know that they work, you know, well. It's not something that I will use on the daily because of the alcohol. I seem to have <laughs> this. We're going to figure out what, what this belongs to, I guess, in a moment. But let's look at the spray. I don't know if it is a scent or not. Oh, it says green tea. That's nice. I am going to try it on. I'm a sweaty mess. I could use just something. Scent is lovely. It does not smell like alcohol. It dried down pretty quickly, again, because of the alcohol. Um, actually, kind of mattified my sweat just a little bit. I don't know what that word that just came out of my mouth was, so we're just going to ignore it, but I think you know what I meant. Oh, here is the clean canvas. I've been so excited to get and try this. It is in the color Fair. Obviously, I don't think this is going to work as concealer for me, but as an eye base, and I don't know what my dad is watching down there. Ooh, look how creamy. I expected it to be firmer, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's very creamy. Oh, I can't wait to try that. You know, I may try it as a concealer, too, because, you know, I'm on the hunt for the ultimate concealer for these aging under eyes. So I did purchase that one. And here it says, this is a Longwear Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color West Coast. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a little separated, but that doesn't bother me. I'm just going to shake it. Okay, maybe not shake it, but <laughs> I will stir it up. Yeah, that thing. I like the frosted plastic. Oh, hello. Um, what am I doing? She's bright. She's very, very bright. But what the hey, I'm going to try it on anyway because, well, I haven't tried her lipstick formula and I want to. Sweat mixes so well with everything, doesn't it? Okay, that is a ridiculous color on me, but it's fun. Comfortable, it's not moussey, it's on the thinner side. Part of me wishes it was a little bit more opaque because it's such a bright color. Like, I think it's a tad patchy, so I think that's my only thing. It is drying down rather quickly, but I can still kind of see my lips through it, so I'm a little on the fence, but we're gonna continue moving on, and um, I'm gonna let you know how I feel about this in just a minute. We have another Hydra Matte Lipstick, and this one is in Grape Crush. Oh, boy. Um. <laughs> hmm. Oh, um. Should I do it? Does it matter? Probably not. It's just freaking makeup. My lips do stick together just a tad. What the hey? Let's just try this on. <laughs> oh boy. You can laugh behind the scenes. It's okay. Okay. Um, this one almost has like a little bit of metallicness to it, just a tiny bit. You can see the peach ring around my lips. It's definitely not a color I would wear out, but it is fun. I could see me using it for uh, special looks or if I'm doing something crazy and fun. So I'm not mad at getting it, especially because I got a really nice colored lip liner and I also got a really nice gloss um, that I enjoy the color and the lipstick as well. So to get two out of the box colors doesn't really bother me. Okay, so this next thing, oh, all right. So I also have a full-size Stay All Day setting spray. And this one is in Dreamsicle. Did I order these or did they come in the box? I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. Because I, 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 no, it didn't. No, I didn't order them. That's right. So these came in the box. 
and I think this is normally like $22 and now I understand this. <laughs> it comes like this, which is pretty smart to keep it closed. Oh yum, it smells like a creamsicle. This one's a little bit more aggressive, but the scent is super nice. So in my box, I received a full size of the Slay All Day um, Dreamsicle. I also got the Green Tea Mini one. I got this beautiful lip liner. I got a gorgeous lipstick that I'm really going to enjoy. A bit of a bold gloss, but I really think it's good for the summer. And I like it because it went on smoothly and it's not overly sticky. Two, I will say, fun colored liquid lipsticks that I'm not unhappy to have. They're different. We'll say that. And then I got this gorgeous highlighter, which the only reason I didn't try on, as I said, is because my face is a sweaty mess. So what did you guys think? Have you ever tried Gerard Cosmetics before? Have you ever tried any of the products that I received? I think it was worth it. I'm happy to try it. I would probably buy some more for lip liners and her bullet lipsticks as well. Well, I look forward to hearing your thoughts, especially about this. This, uh, I, I look forward, I, yeah. But I love you guys so much. You are amazingly wonderful people. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. If you would like to join this crazy furry family that we have here, I would love it if you would subscribe. A thumbs up or a thumbs down truly does help me out, and I appreciate it. And, of course, my amazing friends, whatever part of the world you are in on and around, I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing week coming up. I don't remember what part of that I was at, but anyway, I love you. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.